okay what's up guys welcome back to Cover with clinton so the django series for beginners starts right now you understand so I, as, I said, as i said in the previous video i said we are going to be building a photo gallery website something like this you just can you just can upload images and you can also download them you understand so you can create an account so i'm going to open that but i'm going to click on the particular image right now you can see we are on this image now currently just at the bottom we can see some similar images we have options to download we have options you can also like the image and follow the user that created this image you understand so that's it now we're going to build a website like this and this, this, this is a kind of beginner friendly tutorial if you don't know django if you're already advanced in django you're going to gain something from this tutorial understand so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a virtual environment in django instead so before you start working with django you must make sure you have python installed on your computer and stuff so go to just just go down to python.org and install the particular version for your computer and stand so that's it now so right now we're going to start building the virtual environment so let's do that right now okay so before i proceed i would love to define what a virtual environment is so a virtual environment is a tool that helps to keep dependencies required by different projects separate by creating isolated Python virtual environments for them. So I'm going to give you a typical example right now. So let's assume you have Django. Let's assume you have Django 2.0, and in the future, let's look. Okay, let's, so let's assume you have a project that runs on Django 2.0, and in future you have another project that runs on Django 3.0. So because you have two different versions of Django, there's going to be a clash. Because of the aversion, there's going to be a kind of clash, a dispute, you understand? So to avoid this clash, it's better you use a virtual environment. So you can use to separate their dependencies, you understand? So you're going to create a virtual environment for Django 2.0, install Django 2.0 in the virtual environment and its, and its dependencies, you understand? So for the Django 3.0, you're going to install Django 3.0 in that virtual environment and also its dependencies. So Using virtual environments, there's no there will, there will be no form of clashing at all with the versions of Django you have in your computer. You understand? So in this video right now, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual environment. So now, right now, go down to Visual Studio Code now. So click on this terminal up here, new terminal. So going down, the terminal is open now. So I'm going to remove this debug console. So now, you see this plus icon? Click on this downward arrow. Click on it. What's happening okay now click on command prompt okay done now okay the first thing we're gonna do before we create this virtual environment is now I want to show you how to check for you if you only show you how to check if you have Python installed on your PC you understand so just for this command Python I think I think version enter so this shows you have Python installed so if you don't have if you run this command and you don't see this Make sure you go down and install Python. Go down to Python. Go down to Python.org. Download the setup file and have it installed on your PC. You understand? So now we are going to start our virtual environment now. So I'm going to install the setup file. I'm going to download the setup. I'm going to install the setup file for our virtual environment. So run this command pip install virtual env wrapper. I think win. Enter. So it's already installed. It says say requirements. It says requirement already satisfied. So now, after we've installed the setup file, we're going to now create the actual virtual environment. So this is the command here. You're going to simply say make virtual env. I'm going to call our virtual environment newbies. You understand? Newbies. Enter. So it's going to take quite some time. Okay. So the virtual environment has been created. If you look down on the left, you see the name called newbies. And this, shows, and this shows that the virtual environment has been created and activated in the stand. So now after we've done this now, we are going to install Django into the virtual environment. So we are going to run this command pip install Django, pip install Django, enter. Okay, so Django is already installed in the virtual environment and Django is only found in the, in the virtual environment in the stand. So now, I'm going to check if Django is actually installed. So we are going to run this command to check if Django has been installed. So just run Django dash admin hyphen hyphen version enter. So 
let's see if Django has been installed successfully. You can see, oh. Okay, I spelled version wrongly. That's a problem. No, so run the command again. Django admin iPhin iPhin version enter. You can see we have Django 4.0.2 installed now in, in our virtual environment. So if I deactivate this in, in this virtual environment and run this same command, it's going to say Django is not found because Django is only available in the virtual environment. So I'm going to de I'm going to deactivate the virtual environment now. So just say deactivate newbies newbies. Oh, I can't spell newbies again. So our virtual environment has been deactivated. If you look down on the left, you can see we don't have this this stuff on this other side. You understand? So our virtual environment has been deactivated. So I'm going to run this command again. Django admin i think i think version enter you can see it says django admin is not recognized so i'm going to activate the virtual environment again run this command work on newbies so our virtual environment has been reactivated in the stand so now after we've done this now we want to create a django project so i'm going to go down to my desktop directory on my computer you know, so let me say cd I'm going to go down to my documents directory, not desktop. Documents. Enter. So now I'm, I am in a documents directory now. So I'm going to create a Django project in my documents directory. I'm going to call this Django project Django tutorial. I will, I will call the project Django tutorial. So run this command Django admin start projects. I'm going to call it Django tutorial enter okay it has been created so now go down to my document folder i'm going to look for that right now django tutorial where are you go back to documents okay it's right here you can see it there it's just at the extreme end it's right there so now i'm going to go down to my vs code right away now so we're going to we are going to move into we are going to go down to the directory called django tutorial just simply run this command cd django tutorial enter yep so now we are going to now run server in the so now we are going to run the server to see if all we've done is working properly in the stand so now we're going to run this command python manage let's buy run server enter Okay, now our server is running successfully because of this message we have at the bottom. Everything runs successfully. So now, just hold down shift and click on this URL we've seen here. Go down control rather and click on it. If you're on Windows, hold down control. If you're on Mac, hold down command. So hold down control now and click. So now it's going to take us to the landing page on the browser. So a landing page, you understand? So open to your, open your browser. Let's see. Perfect. can see we have this landing page. This shows that Django has been installed successfully so we've got to the end of this video this is part one so watch us for part two understand take care and bye bye